हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू पवन पुरीज पिट स्टॉप एंड टू अदर एक्साइटिंग वीडियो ऑन बैडमिंटन सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑन हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ हेड हैवी रैकेट इन टू अ हेड लाइट रैकेट एंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ हेड हैवी रैकेट इन टू एन इवनली बैलेंसड रैकेट एंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट एन इवनली बैलेंसड रैकेट इन टू अ हेड लाइट रैकेट सो द अल्टीमेट गोल इज हाउ टू मेक द हेड ऑफ द रैकेट लाइटर now the most important part uh, to understand before we start is that why am i making such a video see um, when i go through the comments or requests or emails i get uh, i've seen a few people uh, you know who've mentioned that you know we purchased such and such racket on somebody uh, someone else's say but your game is very much different to others uh, the racket does not suit you for example uh, one of your friends or maybe a few of your friends say that you know a head heavy racket is very good you can just go ahead and purchase it because a head heavy racket would allow you uh, generate more power get you more smashes uh, so it, you know it is amazing but when you start using it and uh, you know your game is different so you go around the net and you find that uh, having a head heavy racket is actually slowing down your movement your responses are not as fast as before and you finally understand that i should be buying a lighter racket or an evenly balanced racket for example a few of my friends uh, like to play with the head heavy rackets and heavier rackets uh, as an overall like 3u or maybe 2u and even then uh, they are at par with those players uh, around the net and the center of uh, the court Uh, who use lighter racket so that uh, that is how they actually built up their you know uh, muscle strength or their game and uh, the reflex actions are pretty quick but there are many people who have all this but still want to uh, use a lighter racket but they've purchased a head heavy racket on someone's suggestion so not to worry uh, um, you know you can save some money instead of just throwing away the racket or maybe uh, spending another 2 or 3000 on another racket so let's see how i can be a little helpful to those people Now here I have a racket with me which I have uh, equally evenly balanced on a stick. Now this basically becomes uh, easier for us to understand if we put on some weight uh, on this edge or on this edge. So if either of the side swings, we know the one that is swinging downwards is the one that is heavier. So as of now both of them are evenly balanced. And uh, to make it easier for you to understand uh i have this grip this is just a basic grip one of the cheapest thinnest and one of the lightest grips around this is uh, just around 3 to 4 grams of grip so i'll put on this grip on this uh, side of uh, the racket uh to show you a vertical impact of the weight of this grip which is around 3 to 4 grams so you see now uh i'm going to place it here now i've just placed it oh, i've placed it here you can see how the racket just swings this way right now this was uh, this was as a, you know this was a bulk of weight that i had put on uh, to make it uh, clearly indicative the impact of the weight now what i'll do is i'll wrap the uh, grip around the handle of the racket because that is where, you know that is how it actually evenly balances the weight is balanced around the entire handle and uh, the impact is not as vertical as i just showed you now to make it clearly indicative what i'll do is um, the racket is evenly balanced here now so i have uh, put on a small marking here which is on the the l and the e here so i'll just put it back and uh we'll just put it we'll just balance it here and now um uh, what i'll do is i'll wrap the 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 grip that uh, the racket had i had taken it off to demonstrate it now uh, i'll just wrap it around again and then we'll see uh, you know how much the balance point moves up or down let's see that so uh, i've almost wrapped the the old grip that the racket had i've just taken it off to demonstrate uh, to you that uh, even if we have wrapped the 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 grip on the handle the you know the uh, the weight balance may not be significant uh, enough to uh, change its course but uh, i can give you a bright idea about it now you see that the marking was here on the l and the e so i'm not going to take it now uh an approximate here i guess okay now previously now you see now it has balanced itself i'll move it okay now i guess this is the best place even if i okay now if i calculate it uh it was here around this mark initially where i had put on the uh, the marking oops and uh 
which is around 30 to 35 mm so the balance point of the racket has changed by 30 to 35 uh, millimeters which is which is a significant change in the balance point so uh, clearly indicative that uh, the handle the grip has um, has more weight than the head now uh, as if we uh, you know if we compare with the with the previous balance point so if you add on another grip uh, this is going to drift maybe another 30 or 25 mm so to make it even more uh, understandable for you what I've done is I've just balanced another grip additional grip onto the racket's uh, handle and uh, the balance point now has shifted by another 25 or 30 millimeters you can clearly see uh, in this uh, in this video here so that was my simple way uh, to convert a head heavy racket into a head light racket or uh, an evenly balanced racket and uh, if you have your own experiences uh, that worked for you and any experiences that did not work for you uh, do share that in the comment section below and until then stay safe stay healthy watch healthy videos and stay away from corona and have a good day